In today's tutorial, I want to show you how you can quickly create a 3D character of yourself with a free AI tool. I then also want to show you how you can animate your character in Blender. All of the tools that I'm gonna show you in this video are easy to use and completely free. So let's get started. Alright, so the tool that we're gonna use today to create the avatar is called Avaturn. It is extremely simple and intuitive to use as you'll find out in a second. So for now, simply go to avaturn.me and if you're using it for the first time, you can sign up in the top right corner. Once you are in, we can start creating a new character. So let's click on this plus to create a new one. And I've already scanned my face, so I could select it here. But in order to demonstrate how this works, I'm gonna create a new face. And I want to use the camera. So you can see this generates a QR code that I can open with my phone, which is gonna guide me through the process of scanning my face. You now simply need to take three different pictures of your face. One from the front, one from the left side, and another one from the right side. And after less than 60 seconds, your character should already be generated. And if we take a look at the face, you can see that this looks quite realistic. But we still have options to further customize this. So first of all, we can select the body type. However, in this case, I think I'm gonna go with the default one. Then we could correct the skin tone. But again, I'm gonna leave this at the default. And if you want, you can stylize it and adjust the proportion. So for example, make the head and the chest really big. But again, in this case, I want it to be realistic, so I'm gonna reset everything back to zero. Next, we can customize the hair or the hat. So let's try out a few different styles. And I think this one fits pretty well. However, I want to add a hat, so it's gonna be either this one or this one. And I actually prefer this one, so let's go with this hat. In the next step, we can customize the outfit. So let's try out a few different variations. And I think I quite like this one. So let's go ahead and also customize the glasses. I think this is a bit too much, so let's remove them. And let's continue with the shoes. And I really like those white ones, so let's take them. And that's already our finished character. If you want, you can go one step further and even add animation to your character. So you can make him dance, do some stunts, or make him fight. However, I want to show you how you can add animation later on in Blender. So here I'm just gonna go with this steady pose and I'm gonna show you how to animate it later on. So let's bring this into Blender. So we need to download it by clicking on this download button. And if you're using the free version, you always need to generate the download link on Discord. Luckily, this is very easy. Simply click on the Join Us button to open the Discord server. Once you are in, go to the bot channel and type in forward slash avaturn, click enter, and you'll get a link that allows you to download the character. Also make sure to read those license agreement and then you can click on the link. Now we can reopen the character and when I now click on the download button, you can see that I get three different options. So if you added an animation in the last step, you can download it with the animation. However, in this case, we just want the avatar with the T-pose, so we can animate it later on in Blender. I'm just gonna call this avatar and download it. Now let's import this character into Blender. For this, go up to File, Import and select the GLTF file format. Select the avatar and click on import. And if we switch to material preview, you can see that this perfectly imported our character with all the materials and textures. Currently, the character is just standing in a regular T pose. If you want to change the pose or animate it, simply select the rig that comes with the character and switch to pose mode. Now you can select those bones and rotate them with the shortcut R in order to create the pose that you want. However, doing this manually takes a lot of works and oftentimes isn't very realistic. So I want to show you two different options to quickly add animations to our characters. So let's reset this pose. 
And the first option that I want to show you is Mixamo. So simply go to Mixamo.com, which is a huge library with lots of motion capture animations that you can download for free. So for example, we could download this animation of a character fighting. However, I'm just gonna search for dance. And I think this hip hop dance animation looks quite nice. So let's click on the orange button to download it. And we don't need the skin, so let's choose without skin. Now we also need to bring this into Blender. So let's go up to File, Import, and this time we want to choose the FBX file format. Select the animation and in the Armature tab, make sure that you enable Automatic Bone Orientation. Then import the FBX and you can see that we now have this animated rig in our scene. Now all we need to do is take the animation of this armature and apply it to the rig of our character. In order to do this, I recommend you to use the Rococo plugin, which makes retargeting in Blender really easy. You can download this add-on for free from GitHub and I'm gonna put the link to this in the video description. Here in the retargeting tab, we now need to select the two different armatures. For the source, we want to select the armature that is already animated. And for the target, we want to select the armature that we want to add the animation to. With both of them added, simply click on build bone list and then on retarget animation. And after a few seconds, this should already work. And now we have our character perfectly animated. Alright, so that was the first possibility to animate our character. I now want to show you a second possibility on how we can generate custom animations for our character. And for this we are going to use Rococo Vision, which is a free AI tool that allows you to record a video of yourself and transform it into motion capture data. So for this simply go to vision.rococo.com and here I'm gonna create a new animation. I want to upload a video and in this case I didn't record the video myself. Instead I used this clip that I found online of this girl dancing. Once it is uploaded you can click on this button to turn it into animation. Now your video is being analyzed and with the help of AI it is generating character animation data. You can see that this works quite well, however it is not perfect. If you want more precise results, you can get the pro version of Rococo Vision, which allows you to record two cameras at the same time, in order to get even better motion capture data. And once you are happy with it, simply click on the download button, and I'm just gonna call this mocap3. Now let's also bring this into Blender, so go up to File, Import, FPX, Select it and again make sure that you enable automatic bone orientation. And now you can see that we get this animated puppet. So again we need to retarget the animation from this character to our avatar. So let's open up the Rococo retargeting plugin, select the source rig and also the target rig, build the bone list and retarget the animation. So let's quickly hide the puppet and take a look at our animated character. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I really hope that you could learn something new. Finally, I just quickly want to mention that you can download all of the 3D models that I created for free on my Blender Kit profile. I'm gonna put the link to this in the video description. My name is Nick, see you in the next one.